What's up guys, Coach Jazz here. So, uh, let's try this again. Day one and day two of T25 are in the books. Um, I did have to restart the program. I tried to start last week and you guys can see my day one and day two videos then. I did awesome, I rocked those two days. Um, I chose a really bad week and I did not plan ahead. I didn't really look at my schedule. Um, we actually went camping Friday through Sunday. Um, there were no workouts to be done on those days. The days before that, uh, Wednesday and Thursday were fit club and boot camp workouts. So I did still work out six total days. Um, well, six total workouts. It was actually double days for most days. Um, but no excuses. I just got lazy and I indulged in some awesome food over the weekend and camping. And I just took those days for myself to kick back and relax and not worry about the whole thing. So... That brings me to this week. I am 100% on track with T25. Day one was yesterday, Monday. Um, did my T25, which was alpha cardio in the morning. I had a full day of massage at my clinic. Continue. <laughs> okay, continue. Okay. The wife is in a towel. Hey. She told me, turn the camera around. Anyways, these are uncut. So... <laughs> Day one was awesome. Uh, it was Alpha Cardio in the morning. I had a full day of massage, five clients, and then ended with Fit Club, which we did. Uh, it was, crap, which one was it? Uh, ab Intervals, another T25 workout. And then we did 25 inches stretching. So that was an awesome day. Today was another awesome day. I actually skipped uh, Speed, which was today's workout because we had a late night boot camp today. Um, which we just finished about an hour ago. So we finished boot camp. I had another long day of massage of five and a half hours of uh, massaging. My last client was a 90 minute, really deep tissue, uh, kind of drained me. Um, I honestly did not want to do that boot camp workout, but I rocked it, stuck with it. Um, it felt really good. So now I'm whipping up some dinner. I'll show you guys what this is right here. Boom. 100% grass-fed ground beef with sprouts, tossing in some mushrooms too. Um, definitely going to be some good stuff. So, sticking with my whole foods, nutrition, have some treat meals every four or five days. I'm not depriving myself too much on this whole thing because I found that for me, I have to keep myself sane and indulge in some pizza and some ice cream. But it's controlled. I don't binge and I make sure it's every four or five, sometimes six days, depending on what I'm prepping for. Um, awesome news, we have Spartan Race coming up, which is um, going to be four miles. Last year I did it was three miles. We're doing a Spartan Race with four of us total. Um, that's on this Sunday, so that's going to be pretty sweet. So we're doing some extra boot camp workouts this week um, on top of my T25 just to get ready for it. Um, and then we'll take a couple of rest days beforehand, um, just kind of work on technique and uh, me teaching some people how to get over the walls and rope climbs that kind of stuff so anyways in other good news I am at the halfway point of my freedom beard phase so most of you know by now if you follow me on Facebook that I was able to quit my full-time job and become a full-time Beachbody coach um, which was amazing I've been waiting for this moment for four years and so I've always had to shave for my shifts um, I worked at a spa, and even before then at Massage Envy, I still had to shave for my shifts. And so this freedom beard is, I don't care if it looks good or not, it's just a statement for me to say I am finally free. I'm 100% my own boss. So I am digging it, though. What do you guys think? So it's getting to that point. It's at the halfway point, day 15 right now. I'm going to push it out. I'm going to let it grow completely for uh, 30 days, and then I'll trim it so it's all even and clean. Um, right now it's getting to that scraggly point where it's kind of getting all over. Uh, Trista's starting to not like it as much. <laughs> but after 30 days, I'll trim it so it actually looks decent. Anyways, uh, I am out for the night. Got to whip this up real quick, eat, go to bed, wake up tomorrow, um, have an early morning training client, and then a pretty relaxed day. So I'm excited for it. Um, I actually don't even know what the day three workout is. I think it might be ab intervals again. So... I'll keep you guys updated and hopefully get some workout clips. It's been Coach Shaz. Peace out.